everyone, it's Bryony. Um, it's Friday, which means it's video day. Uh, but today I have quite a lot to do and I'm not sure I'll get round to actually uh, doing a sit down and film, uh, sitting down and filming a video. And also, um, yesterday I went to film a video with uh, Lara from the Ruby Cup Company. I posted something on my Instagram. So my other camera's memory is completely full and I need to upload that one onto my laptop before I can use it. And just lots of complicated stuff. And uh, I thought that because today is so busy and I had mentioned in the past that uh, when I had a busy day would you guys be interested in seeing sort of like a day in the life video kind of like my period vlogs but without my period uh, which I think is actually due next week so it might be that there's this one and then my period vlog or it might be a video in between I'm not too sure uh, but still I felt like I would tr try and do this today and we'll see if uh, you guys like it and um, yeah so so far so I've got quite I've got a quite a lot to do today actually um, first of all I've got to go and pick up some clothes that mum and I uh, bought. We see a lady who um, sells like these, uh, I can't, can't even know how to describe it, but it's like a um, a clothes company that has women, sort of like the Avon system, you know, or the unique, but it's for clothes uh, and they like are more ethical or whatever and they come from France, but they're really nice. It's called Captain Tortue and uh, I ordered a couple of things instead of my mum, so I'm going to go and pick them up uh, from her in about half an hour. Um, then I have, at 2 o'clock I have to go to the dentist because I have a couple of fillings that need to be done, uh, two I think on this side, um, which I'm kind of dreading because obviously it means I need to have a local anaesthetic, although fortunately I did tell them I can't have adrenaline. Um, I always reacted really badly to local an anaesthetic and I didn't really understand why, and then my Lyme, uh, doctor, specialist, whatever, um, told me that some people with Lyme disease react really badly to the adrenaline in local anaesthetic So she said just get them to take it out um, So that's what I'm going to do this time and hopefully that should drastically improve the problem because I literally It looks like I'm having a fit almost sometimes with it. It's re I react quite strongly to that um, So fingers crossed this time will be better, but we will see um, So I need to have that done. I also if I depending on how I feel afterwards I need to go this is why I wasn't sure if I'd be able to film after that because of my teeth I'd never know how I react to that stuff. The last time I had to have something done at the dentist was not fun. It was really painful. I had an abscess and, ugh, not fun. Um, but this is just a top up of filling so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Then I really do need to go to my parents house because my mum is helping me fill out some insurance form and I need to discuss some other stuff with her business wise. Um, and at some point in the day I've got several people to call. I need to call my car company because they're supposed to be fitting an upgrade to my car uh, next week on the 4th of May but I have a nasty feeling my period's due on that day and I already have a doctor's appointment and some other stuff and I just figure I can't risk it, you know, putting so much stuff on that day uh, so I need to move that, I need to message somebody else Ugh, there's a lot to do anyway, I really need to charge this battery up again so that's what I will do in the meantime and I'll have some breakfast and then we will get going so I just got back from um, picking out the clothes, it's literally like five minutes from my house, which is good. Um, it's, we're having such weird weather here at the moment, as it always is in April actually in the UK. But we've had really, really warm weather the last few days, and then like yesterday and the day before, it's just been so cold again. So I'm kind of like, do I wear long sleeves, do I wear short sleeves? It's blah, it's just Britain basically. But anyway, uh, I picked up the outfits, I didn't get very many, but just a few things, you know, nice to give yourself a little treat. So this is a top, this is a dress, and this is a jacket. Um, and I'm just gonna try them on now because the way that this works is that the lady who um, you go to see to kind of get the clothes, so I haven't got the screen flipped up, one second. And um, the lady that you go to who kind of has all these clothes, has them in like one size, you try on and see, but they don't necessarily have it in your size, so then you have to kind of guess what your size is and order it in that, but you can change it or uh, take them back and get a refund if you don't like it, so it's fine. But the clothes are usually really nice and high quality, so I'm just gonna try them on now and see how they fit. It is one o'clock now. Um, I probably need to think about having some lunch actually before I before I go, it's a really good idea. Um, I've done lo loads of my calls, I couldn't quite get in contact with the car people. But um, my list is, I have like a list on my phone with all my reminders, it's gradually getting ticked off. Uh, this I find this is super helpful for me to have like a, a list or something. The reminders page on an iPhone is really useful, you can like, tap things off, it makes me feel better like I'm actually getting stuff done. Uh, I've only got a few more things to do now, um, and then I will head off, well first of all have lunch, finish up this list. Then go to the dentist, and then I've I've realised um, my mum's actually in London today, so she won't get back till four thirty. I don't think I'll be finished before like 
um, well they said it would be an hour because she didn't want to keep me. I'm, I'm really lucky, I've actually found a super super nice dentist and a female dentist. Um, so she did say to me she wasn't going to take longer than an hour because she didn't feel like you could sit in a chair for longer than an hour at a dentist, which I totally agree with. Um, so I should be done by three and then I can come back and rest and let my mouth sort of stop feeling so numb, uh, the numbness wear off. And uh, yeah, then we'll go on. I'm a bit, um, oh I got loads of packages as well and some less I need to open too, I must do that. Uh, I'm just looking at my Facebook page and I realise there's an advert from Livia. I did contact the company and they were going to send me a sample of the like Livia machine but I haven't received it yet and I didn't get a response from the email so I think I might try and get in contact with them again and see if uh, they got my last email. Um, unfortunately I don't think I'll get it in time for this period which kind of sucks because I wanted to try it out but uh, yeah hopefully at some point I should be able to do that because I've seen some people commenting and asking me about that and uh, yes it is on my list to do. Um, so hopefully I will try that one out. Other completely random thing to mention, this morning was the first time that I tried uh, cashew milk and um, I'd heard people, well, like, I knew it was out there but I tend to drink almond milk and I'm a bit weird about trying new stuff but I was at my chiropractor the other day and he had a bottle of it in the corner I couldn't quite tell which, it was obviously an alternative milk but I couldn't quite tell which one it was and he said it was cashew and he said it was his favourite, it was the one that tasted most similar to regular milk and I was like oh it's kind of intriguing, I might try it then so I ordered some with my April and Cole box that I got yesterday and um, it really is the most like similar because I have a cereal that I really like, it's called Crunchy Nut Cornflakes and you, it's sort of like got a honey flavour to it and you can't really have it with almond milk, it just doesn't taste as good, but I had it with this and like, it doesn't taste exactly like normal milk, but it's not got as strong a taste as like almond or rice would have for example, so definitely if any of you are need to be dairy free and you really struggle with like the alternative milk taste, just try cashew, it is the most similar I've found, it really is true. Um, I use the Rude Health one, although I think I probably might add, need to add some sort of sweetness to it for some other stuff, but yeah, that's really exciting. <coughs> now I'm going to go make lunch. So I've just finished having lunch and now I need to dash because I'm a little bit late. Uh, just going to the dentist. I need to brush my teeth first actually. See you in a minute. Right, well I've just come back from the dentist. That was so much easier. I'm so glad I found such a nice one now. But yeah, without the adrenaline, much, much easier. Like I can still feel it's kind of numb. Um, I don't know if you can even see it, but kind of, it's weird. It's kind of gone up my cheek here, the numbness. But none of the shaking, like when I had the um, the last lot of local anaesthetic and it had adrenaline in it, I would not just get like the faster heartbeat, which is quite normal, but shake really quite uncontrollably. It was almost like, I know, almost like convulsing uh, and it was really unpleasant, but this time so much easier and uh, yeah, no problems at all. So I was like, yes, thank God, at least I've solved that issue now um, and I know why it was happening. Uh, okay, so that's done. I just got a message from my mom. I don't know, is it just me or is it the one hour in your day when you can't answer your messages? Everyone decides to message you. I had like five in one go and like nobody had messaged me the rest of the day. It's a bit crazy. Um, yeah, I just finished responding to all that and I just got a message from my mom. So I think I'll probably see her later on, but I feel fine, which is good. I wasn't too sure. So um, yeah, I think I'll go over and sort out the insurance stuff in a bit. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to have a snack though, without biting my lip, hopefully. <laughs> it is just gone 6.30 now in the evening and I'm at my parents' house. I meant to put the camera in the car to tell you guys what I was doing because I completely forgot I had this mount that I bought ages ago which I can put my, um, attach my camera to when I'm driving. It's like a window attachment thing. Um, but I left it at home. I completely messed up because I, this morning when I went to pick up my clothes for me and my mum, um, I, when I left to come here I forgot the bag and then I had to go back and grab the bag and I didn't see that I'd also left the mount and then I didn't realise until I was halfway um, towards here and I got stopped by my neighbour and had to talk about some stuff because the gardener hasn't been or whatever um, that we have the managers to place so that has to be sorted um, and then I got here and I did this form and talked about some other stuff and now I'm just chilling, but I think that will be all for today, guys. I don't think there's anything else going to happen. So let me know whether you like this and whether you would like these um, as an alternative for um, days where I, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to sit down. I didn't know like how painful my teeth would be. It's actually been completely fine. Um, so I would have been fine if I had wanted to do a sit-down one, but I thought this would be better. But yeah, let me know what you thought. Please subscribe. Don't forget you can get cloth pads and menstrual cups from my website, Precious Stars, down below. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.